today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Sea Soccer Komodo bike rack. It's available in black with part number 298-BK1910-BK. In silver, part number 298-BK1910-SV. In gold with part number 298-BK1910-GO. And finally, aqua blue, part number 298-BK1910-AB. Carry your road bike in style with the Sea Sucker Komodo. It's perfect for those vehicles that you can't have a hitch or a roof rack, or where those would detract from the style of your vehicle. It's also going to save the expense of purchasing a roof rack or a trailer hitch. Its sleek design mimics that of a Komodo Dragon, and it adds a real stylish accent to your vehicle. It's perfect for sports cars, convertibles, or really any vehicle you want to add some flair to. The four vacuum cups will attach to metal, fiberglass, or glass, and they have a 210 pound pull strength each. The rear vacuum cups articulate so you can match the contour of your vehicle. The vacuum cups themselves are made out of a rubber material, so they won't harm our glass or scratch our finish. The Komodo is designed so that no portion of our bike will come in contact with our vehicle. It holds your road bike with two points of contact. We have a nine millimeter quick release skewer here in the front and then a wheel strap in the back. The rear wheel cradle adjusts to fit the position of your tire. The ratchet strap holds it in place. We've gone ahead and removed the bike so we can go over some additional features. When not in use, the tail folds in for compact storage. Just pull out on the pin underneath the tail rotate it and rest it down, and the strap keeps it in place while we're on the road. It's made out of an anodized aluminum, so it's gonna resist rust and corrosion. The whole thing only weighs 13 pounds. With the tail open, it measures 32 inches long. With the tail closed, it measures 20 inches long. The vacuum cup footprint is 18 inches long by 12 inches wide. To help you maintain your pump cylinder, it includes some lubricant sealant. Just put a little bit around the edge and pump it until it works its way in. When you're all done, it's easy to remove. Just press in on one of the T-tabs on either side. It lets air get underneath, releases the pump cylinder, and then we can easily take it off. With them all loose, we can just take it off. At this point, it's easy to store or place on another vehicle. If you're gonna store it, it comes with four covers to protect your vacuum cups. With it folded up, it's small enough, you could even store it in your trunk, garage, or in your luggage. To help you secure it, a cable anchor for your trunk is available separately with part number 298-BA0020, or you could pick up the Sea Sucker cable anchor for your window and secure it that way with part number 298-BA0010. To bring your front wheel along, you could pick up the Sea Sucker hog with part number 298 dash VA1580. Now that we got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. On my Corvette here, I could install it on my roof or further back, and I can rotate my legs to avoid any seams, or like we're gonna do, install it on my rear glass. To get it installed, we'll need to be sure that we're working with a clean surface. I've already gone ahead and cleaned my glass. Now we need to moisten the bottom of our vacuum cups. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle here, just got water in it, just gonna hit them a little bit and then put it back in place. Now I'll adjust my vacuum cups so they best contour my window. Then I'm gonna push down and begin depressing the pump cylinder until the orange band disappears. Then I'll just work my way around. In preparation for loading up our bike, we'll need to fold out the tail so we can undo our strap, then we'll rotate it out until it snaps into place. We'll also wanna be sure that our skewer is opened up and that we have enough room between so we can set our fork in place. Now it's also reversible, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it around, that way I can easily access it from this side. Now we can go ahead and load up our bike. Well, of course we're gonna remove that front tire. We'll come up, we'll gently rest the fork in place within the skewer, for the rear tire, we'll raise it up and then set it in place, just like that. Now, as you can see, our rear cradle pivots to conform to our tire. Now we can close up our skewer. Now the idea is to close up the skewer and have it secure our fork in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. 
and I'm gonna check it every so often and make sure that it's not too tight. There we go. Then we can close it up. The strap here in the rear is a ratchet strap. We can adjust our pad to where it goes over our wheel. Then we can feed it down through, pull it tight, and then we can ratchet it down just like that. With it in place, you can see that it's not going anywhere. I'm actually shaking the whole vehicle. Now over time or on long trips, the orange band may start to reappear. That's not a problem. If that happens, just come up to the pump cylinder, depress it until it disappears, and then you're all set to get on the road again. The last thing we can install is our pedal stability strap, and this is to ensure that our pedals and crank is not spinning around when we're on the road. So we'll want to line it up with our frame, we'll just wrap it around, and connect it to itself. Perfect. With everything loaded up, let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Here in our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is gonna show side to side action, such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our solid speed bumps, this is gonna show an up and down action, such as pulling in and out of a driveway or out of a parking lot. And then finally onto our alternating speed bumps, this is gonna show a twisting action, such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. And that's gonna complete our look at the Sea Sucker Komodo bike rack. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.